All right, so let's get down to some cold weather painting. Um, as many of you guys are probably dealing with right now is the cold temperatures. Um, it's probably about 50, which is good enough for me to paint, but you still kind of end up with some paint issues when you uh, when you try and paint in the cold. So uh, what I've got here is I've got um, hot water, which is basically hot enough for me to touch, but not to burn. It's about 80 degrees or so. You can, you can usually do tap water, uh, uh, put it in the microwave, the container, or you can um, boil it. Just make sure it's, it's warm enough for you to touch and not burn yourself. So basically what we're trying to do is get the paints heated up inside here and it won't make the can explode because it's not fire and it's not something uh, that's too hot for it to handle. So, because usually it's, I think on the most paints it says between uh, 50 degrees to uh, let's see here. Above uh, above 40 degrees, 50 degrees. So um, basically, we're just trying to get the heat, the, the paint heated up. What I've got here is a uh, drop light, and these things get hot. So basically, heat onto the uh, to the piece. Let me move this out of the way now. And w when you're dealing with paints, um, the two main parts of the paint are the pigment and the solvent which is used to help uh, make the, the paint spread out more easily so what we're going to do this is, this is about as warm as my hand right now um, the warmer the paint is the solvent will dry as it's shooting through the air to hit the, the so what we're looking to do is basically as I said heat up the paint I just dropped a little bit of water in here, so i got to wipe this up all down before I paint it. Um, basically, we're trying to make the pig, the, the, the pig paint and the solvent evaporate before it actually, um, or most of the solvent uh, evaporate before it hits the, the painted piece. So, um, this is probably a little bit colder than my hand. This is about hand temperature, so and you just kind of want to spray straight across I got a little bit of water right there this is a first coat so it really doesn't matter anyways um, but you want your paint surface as dry as possible um, and in cold temperature you want it as warm as possible so um, basically I'm just going to shoot a couple quick coats on here And then I'm going to apply the the uh, drop light heat back onto it again, so it heats up the piece and uh, allows it to dry uh, in some warmer temperature than it normally would be. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, but that's pretty straightforward. Just heat, heat up the cans of paint with uh, some water, warm water. Uh, heat up your piece, and then um, can, after you're done heating, uh, painting it, heat it some more to make sure that it. It uh, stays warm. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot.